Hi, oh yeah, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about wireless internet security. Now, wireless network security is really important nowadays because a lot of people are using wireless routers and uh, wireless networks. And to make sure they're safe, you need to make sure they're locked down real nice and tight. So basically, uh, there's a program out now that will tell you um, who is connecting to your wireless network and who is on there. Now, you can monitor this by leaving the program on and actually see who's actually connecting. Now the program is called Zamzom, so you can actually get the program from this website www.zamzom.com okay? and what it does is it, uh, it detects wireless networks, uh, the names of the uh, computers that are connected to your network, the IP addresses it detects, the MAC address and it will also do all this when you do a scan and it will take about 10 seconds. Okay. Now obviously this is the website, it's www.zamzom.com and before you install the program you're going to need to install the .NET Framework 3.5 Service Pack 1 which once you go to install, if this is not installed on your system it will ask you to click on the link to actually install this program this, this will take you to this website uh, msdn.microsoft.com and it will take you to this page okay and then install it and then once you've got that installed you can actually install the program so once you've downloaded the program I'm going to quickly install this now I go next, it's pretty simple really, next, and next again, and agree to the license agreement, go next, and that's pretty much it really, then click closed, and this will then be the application. Now obviously I've got a load of wireless networks running on here, so what I'm going to do is show you a JPEG of an actual wireless network that is actually been running, so let me just move this across a bit and show you this. So as you can see um, what it's doing is it's showing you the MAC address the computer name and the actual IP address in the IP range okay now it's showing up four computers as you can see and they've all got their own individual MAC addresses and their own IPs and these people are actually on the network wireless network and they're actually connecting to their wireless network so now if you know there's only two people on your network and you've got four computers connected to it that means two people are leeching your internet or your network are on there and they shouldn't be on there so now you can get, do something about getting them off or blocking them okay now if you look at your wireless router settings uh, you can actually change your wireless router settings what I'd advise you to do is make sure you've got a strong enough web key or WPA or WPA2 key and also make sure you're using MAC filtering to put in only the MAC addresses that you want to connect to your wireless network now what I mean by that is if you look on this wireless network here uh, this is an actual uh, router wireless router and you can see it's under network filter on this one on the D-Link under the advanced tab and if you have a little look here it will say turn on Mac filtering and allow computers listed in this to access this network now you can see two Mac addresses here because there's two Mac addresses that are these are bogus ones obviously they're not uh, live ones but I've just made them up just to show you what I mean and obviously there's two uh, MAC addresses here that are being used on this wireless network now it'll only allow these two MAC addresses onto this network so anyone else trying to connect to the network even if they tumble the web key or the WPA key with a net stumble or something like that it will it won't um, it won't allow them on because they need to have their MAC address in this part here okay they won't be able to get access to the actual uh, network. So anyway that's how you do that and if you look on the actual settings in here there's a few other settings that you can set up as I said the web key make sure you've got a decent web key set up or web is a bit old nowadays you want to be using WPA or WPA2 and this is an end generation network router so I would say if you've got an old uh, B generation or something like that then try and update to at least minimum of G and if you can afford it just go to the end generation they're pretty much cheap nowadays okay and that's going to make it more secure for you I'm not going to go through all the settings on here but that's pretty much uh, MAC address filtering and also as I said which is standard web key okay so let's close this off I don't need that open and as I said you can actually save these files you can actually save the, the data that's in here that you've actually got and that's about it really so all you need to do is download this program 
see who's connecting to your network and uh, keep them out, keep them at bay. Okay, my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. I hope this video has been some use to you. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you've got any questions, leave a comment or something like that, and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.